Perfect. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. You guys loved my how to dye a synthetic wig video. So, you know, I was sitting on the couch one night and I was thinking, what other ways could you dye a synthetic wig? I've already seen people try to use Sharpies and like dip dyeing inks and stuff like that, but I have never seen anybody use hair wax on a synthetic unit and I feel like it could possibly work because, you know, the hair wax is temporary, you shampoo it out, and you call it a day. So I reached out to Farewell Beauty. I'll go ahead and leave all their information down below. But I reached out to them and I said, hey, I have a good idea. Let's try it out. Let's see how it goes. So we're going to see today if using hair wax on a synthetic wig works. Fingers crossed, you guys, and here we go. So the Farewell Hair Dye Wax is 100% temporary and a natural dye. So it only takes one shampoo to completely wash it out of your hair. Um, the directions and ingredients for this were so simple and 100% cruelty free and also organic. So that was another great thing about this product. Here I'm just applying it on the back of my hand to kind of see the texture and consistency of it. And I could relate it to... Um, Similar to like a body butter, that's what it felt like. Um, now the directions on the product say to apply it to either damp or dry hair. It's really your preference. I figured it would be easier to distribute it on slightly damp hair. Um, so that's what I went ahead and did. And when I first started applying this onto my unit, Honestly, I was really turned off by the color. Um, I felt like it would have looked a lot better if I would have picked a different color, but in my head, picking this ivory shade, I felt like it would have the end result would have looked more like a platinum or icy blonde, and that was just not the case. Um, so I kind of did my best to make it look a little bit better, and as I started combing the product through, it started to give more of like a gray metallic shade so we were moving you know a bit forward on how it looked um, I was surprised by how much product I ended up using to cover all of the strands and the way the container was shaped it wasn't um, it was an oddly it was an odd shaped and the inside it came down to like a point so you weren't getting really like the full amount of product in there um, so I was kind of disappointed in that but application overall was very very easy and like I said I could totally picture this looking so bomb with like a pink or gold or a blue and I kind of wish I did a different color um, but here you can see the dimension of the product there's a lot of metallic shimmer in there and I think that adds to the dimension when you're applying it overall now as for the drying process you can either use your blow dryer on low heat or you can let it air dry I decided to start off by blow drying it and then I realized at this point it was getting a little stiff so I was a little bit concerned so I took my hairbrush and decided to brush through it just so that way it can loosen up some of the product and not have it all stiff but this is what the color was looking like towards the end and honestly like I said it doesn't look that bad like on camera it does not look that bad but I'll see y'all in this outro to let you know what my final thoughts are but these are my results Okay guys, so it has been a few days since I actually filmed the video showing you guys exactly how I was using the product, applying it to the unit, all that. You just watched it. Um, and I just have to say, I'm a little, I'm just a little, the final result of this synthetic wig just drum roll, please. I feel like on camera it does not look that bad. This is what she's looking like, but let me just tell you, she is stiff. She's a stiff wig. 
but she smells bomb as fuck. The product, the whatever they put in their wax, um, super, it smells super good, but it's stiff. It's very stiff. Um, what I was originally going for while I was um, picking out the ivory color was to transform this wig into like a platinum blonde. I'll post a picture right here. This is what I thought the end result would have been looking like. And instead we got more of like a gray toned synthetic wig. Now if you haven't seen my other video of dyeing a synthetic wig, I'll link it right over here in this corner. If you haven't seen that video, um, I thought this method right here would have been so much faster, so much easier, and, and like a non-commitment. So you could wash the color out, just keep going, girl, you know what I mean? Um, but, I mean, I, I guess technically it did work. This is not a jet black 1B wig anymore, it literally is like a gray toned wig. However, it's just... She's stiff! She's a little stiff, and um, I noticed on Farewell Beauty's website it was a lot of natural curly girls. So again, I just wanted to go ahead and experiment and see if this would work on a synthetic unit. You never know, it's all about trying things out. Uh, it, it could have been a little bit better. Like right here in the front, you still get some of the gray, but this is a lot softer, so I think I just used a little bit too much of the product because it is a little stiff. But I'm gonna brush her out on camera right now and we're gonna see um, where if there's product flying everywhere. Because right now as I'm moving this, I can see some <laughs> flying off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna start. Oh, she's shedding. She's shedding a little bit, so let's brush her. See if it softens it up. Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's a willow. You get you. You don't need to breathe this in. Yeah, it's snowing in here, y'all. It's snowing in here for sure. Oh no, honey. Oh my gosh, y'all, uh-uh, uh-uh, Willow, don't lick that, don't. Okay, I need to, oh, I'm kind of zooming y'all in. I need y'all to see this, uh, honey, that is for me brushing it out. Woo, she dusty, bitch, oh my god, hold up. Okay, so just for me brushing it out, Will it's literally flying everywhere in the room. Willow's kind of covered in it. <sighs> yeah, that is not a good look. I'm so sorry. Y'all, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and get this off of Willow and get this off of me because, no, honey. Uh-uh, uh-uh, it's, no. Okay, y'all, I'm back and I'm gonna say this overall experiment was a fail. She's... No, it's just, I don't recommend it. It was a good experiment though, and shout out to Fair Farewell Beauty for sending me um, this product to try and experiment with. I appreciate it. I think honestly the best way for this product to work is just on natural curly hair. That's it, because your girl look like a, <laughs> she look a little messy. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to check out Farewell Beauty down in the description box below. If you guys want to check out their products for yourself and try it on your natural hair, go ahead and give it a try. Um, but as for on a synthetic wig, bitch, it was a fail, so. But anyway, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.